All right, so sorry, I cut it off when I tried to move the screen. Uh, I'm not starting over. So here we go. We got purple ready to go. We're going in the third one here, right? And get my timer ready. Three, two, one, start. All right. So we see it sunk to the bottom. <coughs> timer is going. Looks like the first attempt was not a flu. This one is taking significantly longer to work as well. So the protein is denatured, right? Not all of it, right? There's probably there's just less less functioning proteins uh, than there would be if it wasn't such a strong acid. All right, and stop. So this is 44.49. All right, we're gonna put 44.49 up here on our. Now, I'm not going to flash it back up to this chart until we're at the end because I don't want to stop the video again because I suck at computers, I guess. I don't know. I could be better. But I don't know what I just hit while I go to stop the video, but I did for some reason. So I don't want to do that again. So I'm just going to kind of leave it focused down here. Um, we got about four more to go through. The seventh one, I'll pull the first one out and I'm going to replace it with another two. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. So we'll get this kind of focused back in. All right, so our next color is going to be green. Green has a pH of 8. So I hypothesize that this one would be the fastest one because our blood and things in our body, you know, is, is slightly basic. So this is the, the slightly basic one we have in our experiment. So I predict, I, my hypothesis is that this is going to be the fastest one. All right, I don't know what your hypothesis is. We didn't go over all that, did we? So, but, all right, here we go. And... Getting ready and start. So greens in, slightly basic, kind of like our blood, kind of like our tissue. Uh, the stopwatch is rolling. All right. So if my hypothesis is right, look at there, it's going up a little bit and stop. So this one took 15.66 seconds. Okay, gonna do it again. So I'm getting ready to load with another green. All right, got my stopwatch reset, and I'm going in the fourth one. One, two, three. So stopwatch is rolling. Hopefully, we get repeated results. There it goes. Sixteen point four. Four zero. So, look we'll at all the results of the game. That has been the fastest enzyme, um, you know, activity so far uh, for the activity of catalase. Up next is the lavender color. This is going to be in a strong base. So, you know, the strong acid one did not do well. So, I suspect that the strong base is not going to do well either. I think we're going to get a lot of denaturing in there. All right, so we're ready to roll. Got ready to start button. Coming down here in the fifth one and three, two, one, and we're in. Sunk to the bottom. Down here in this one, this is the um, the yeast that is in the pH 11 solution, the stronger base. Right. So waiting for it to float to the top. So is the enzyme working? Is this protein too denatured to work fast? So there it goes, going to the top and stop. So this was 28.78, not as, as denatured, not as long as the strong acid, but still a little higher than most of our numbers so far. So 28.78. All right, we're gonna do it again. Getting my lavender ready. So, Reset and one, two, three, start. So, one him, run him, run the strong base. I think my kid is watching 
Russian language or Japanese show on YouTube right now. All right, there we go. We're going up and stop. So 27.94. Oops, I hit a button. All right, two more to go. Two more to go. Hang in there. Hang in there. Well, up next is blue. So this is going to be 5% salt solution. It's not an acid. It's not a base. Just salinity. So salt level. So, um, you know, we have a little salt in our in our system. I cannot tell you off the top of my head what that is. But like if you get an IV with saline, right? Salinity is salt water, right? So here we go. Got the timer ready. Got the blue ready to go down, down there on the last one. And start. So timer's rolling. And we're up. And stop. So didn't really like the salt too much. 21.69 seconds. Yeah. Want some more red chips? Hang up, Say thank you. Hey, right. bro. Say thank you. You're well. All right. So, doing the blue one more time. Got the stopwatch ready. Got the blue up. One, two, three, and start. All right. So, the salt level was a little higher than most of our numbers. Not quite as high as the um, the strong acid or the strong base. Let's see if we get the repeated results here. Up, oh, we're rising and stop. Missed it. So a little off here. It should be 20 seconds, uh, but I stopped it at 21.2. So we got to put what the results say. So it's like 21.2. A little bit hesitant there. Oh, I missed the button. Or something. So I'm pulling this one out. Uh, putting a new one in okay now we're going to our last one which is the orange All right this is going to be the 10 percent salt solution so let me clear my timer all right get ready to go and one two three drop almost looks pink don't it it's orange though, i promise you see all right so 10 percent salt Twice the salinity is the 5% salt. Um, let's see how much more that will denature the proteins. And up, 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 up. stop. So 25.07. It did take longer. Okay. And one more time. Reset. Two, three, start. Who's that? Like your friends? Oh, okay, okay. All right, so it looks like the stronger salt solution is denaturing the protein more. It is lowering the activity of the enzyme. So just think about when you get a fever. Think about when this goes on in your body. You're just and you're feeling you're feeling weird, right? You've got a headache. Just things ain't working right like they should. 26.60 seconds. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, so what you would do now, you have your answer sheet. Um, Oh, Sorry, so you should have a sheet like this where you record your data and stuff. If you don't have this, 
go back to my website. It's, it's listed up in the resources for Unit 2 uh, called Yeast Sphere Lab. Have that. So what you got to do now is we got to average our times. We're going to put that into over here. So this is our color, right? Don't really have nothing to do with anything. Food color for identification, right? This is what we manipulated. We did this. We changed environmental conditions or whatever to see what would happen. This is the independent variable. Whatever we do to see what happens, right? Whatever we change to see what happens, our independent variable. Then what we measured, we measured the time. So this depends, the time depends on what we did to, mess, to, to change it. So the average time or our time is our dependent variable. So we're going to average these times together, and you're going to plug them in for your dependent variable. So what you would do here, so if you have these two, right, you take both your times, 19.32 seconds, add it to 16.68 seconds. Right? So you're going to add these together. You know, 8 plus 2 is 10, 6, 9, 10, 10, 16, 36. How about that? Even number. Right, what are the odds? So then you're going to take this number, and you're going to divide it by 1, 2. The total amount of numbers you have on your average. So we're going to divide this by 2. So it's going to be 1, 16, 8, 0, 0. Right? So our average time for our pink trial, right, is 18.006. And this was our control. So we're going to compare all these other ones to our control. My hypothesis was that this weak base will have a faster time than that. And all the rest of them will have a little slower or longer time than my control. So that's what my hypothesis is because the green the weak base is the most like our blood, in my opinion. We'll see if I'm right. We'll check your hypothesis too. Let me draw R. You want to do it? Rose will draw R. All right, so you fill this in. Okay. Your next step is to graph it. So your dependent variable goes, or sorry, independent variable goes here. So your different uh, solutions. Your dependent variable goes here. So the time, make sure it's to scale. You know, like one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, ten, stuff like that. All right. You're going to make a bar graph. Make sure you use a ruler. Use colors, make a key, label your X and Y axis, give it a title, right? Have a little key over here. I want you to turn this in to me, all right? So, sorry you missed the lab. Hope this kind of got you an idea of what we was doing, what we was testing, what we was trying to figure out. Um, her leg is stuck. It's not good. I got to get that fixed, so I got to go. All right, see y'all later. Come by. Bye. Bye.